Hey, what's up, you guys? Great to have you back on the show. I'm Sean David. Let's talk some old school basketball. In today's episode, I want to talk about one of the biggest what ifs when it comes to the 1990s. And it's kind of funny if you check YouTube videos about yeah, the biggest what ifs of the 1990s, you most of the times get Penny Hardaway and Grant Hill, which is totally deserved because both players were incredible. But the 1990s had way more to offer than those two guys. So in this video, I want to talk about Larry Johnson and yeah, what happened, okay? But before we start with this video, if you like this video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button also click on the notifications button so you always get notified once i upload a new video also if you want to support my channel and get access to exclusive podcasts with me and former nba players please check out my patreon account i'm always grateful for every supporter and patreon i get okay so let's start the video Well, I want to start this video by taking a look at the career of Larry Johnson. Let's see his, yeah, his rise and his fall. Larry Johnson was born on the 14th of March in 1969, Tyler in Texas. Larry played high school ball at Skyline in Dallas, Texas, and in 1987, he was a McDonald's All-American. And even though Larry Johnson made a verbal commitment to Southern Methodist University, he decided to play for the University of Odessa from 1987 until 1989. He was one of the best college players in the country, and many NBA teams and analysts believed that he was ready for the NBA after only playing two years at college. However, in 1989, Johnson transferred to the University of Nevada, Las Vegas to join Stacey Artman and Greg Anthony. Well, unfortunately for Santa Barbara, it never changed. They struggled the whole game and wound up being upset. Johnson the trailer. Oh. Good defense creates the offensive fast break for Las Vegas. They strip it cleanly of the big man. Here's a center run in the break. Butler, shovel pass, and here's your trailer after the great dish off by Hunt. We've just begun here. UNLV out 6-0. Here's Johnson. Offensive overplay as he runs up court. This is why the NBA scouts are drooling for him, hopefully to come out after this season. Larry Johnson was a college superstar and known for his incredible dunks and his powerful play. At the 1991 NBA draft, many people weren't too sure who should be the number one pick. Even though Larry Johnson was the favorite, you still had guys like a Dikemba Mutombo, a Steve Smith, a Billy Owens, so, oh, Kenny Anderson, by the way, so many guys who actually could be the number one pick. But it was Larry Johnson and it was the right thing to do. With the first pick in the 1991 NBA Draft, the Charlotte Hornets select Larry Johnson from University of Nevada, Las Vegas. In his rookie season, Larry Johnson was outstanding. The Charlotte Hornets back then were still a pretty new franchise and still had to find their identity. They were in desperate need of an NBA superstar. And Larry Johnson was perfect for that role. In his rookie season, he averaged 19 points, 11 rebounds, 3.6 assists, and being voted the Rookie of the Year. Well deserved. I'm Larry Johnson. Some call me LJ. I love the dunk. Larry Johnson. Johnson, oh, that was big. <laughs> That's the jump. Dunking Larry Johnson to Frederick. Drop it off for Johnson. I love this game. It's obvious that Larry Johnson loves his work, but he still knows that to be a power forward in this league, it takes not only hard work, but also a hard-nosed attitude. You gotta have a toughness. I mean, I, ain't nobody tougher than me. Maybe something better, not tougher. Johnson developed his confidence and tough guy image back on the playgrounds of his old neighborhood. Back in South Dallas in Texas, uh, you know, we was always taught never back down. You know, go out, play as hard as you possibly can play, and be just as good as anybody out there. You don't go out on no floor saying he's better than me. You go out on the floor saying, I got skills, you got skills. You know, let's match them. But before he's ready to match skills with the NBA's best, Johnson spends endless hours in the weight room getting pumped up for the competition. What? Malone. Bones to Johnson. 
Larry Johnson quickly became one of the most popular players in the entire NBA. And just like Penny Hardaway had his alter ego, Little Penny, Larry Johnson had his grandmama thing, which was incredibly popular all around the world. These are my new shoes from Converse. They're so light and so fast, my grandmama can whoop you in them. Grandmama! Let's go. What? 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 You let me run like an old lady. Remember, you can't beat what you can't catch. Okay, Granny, one on one, me and you. In only his second season, Larry Johnson was an NBA All Star, and the combination of him and Alonzo Mourning were the future of the NBA and made the Charlotte Hornets relevant. Johnson averaged 22 points, 10.5 rebounds, 4.3 assists, and was the best undersized player next to Charles Barkley. But after only two seasons, Larry Johnson suffered a serious back injury that would change his game forever. His explosiveness suffered a great deal and it forced Larry Johnson to change his game. He started to become a well-rounded player and didn't rely too much on his physical ability anymore. After that time, Larry Johnson was still effective, but he didn't take the next step. For three more years, he played for the Charlotte Hornets, but then was traded to the New York Knicks because of frictions between him and Alonzo Mourning. Playing for the New York Knicks, Larry Johnson now had to accept a totally different role. He wasn't the first or second scoring option, but now he had to line up behind Patrick Ewing, Allen Houston, and Latrell Sprewell. You could still see that Larry Johnson was a good and decent player, but the combination of his new role and his body breaking down in front of your eyes just showed that Larry Johnson wasn't the same player anymore. On certain nights you could see flashes of Larry Johnson's great skill set, but it was far away from the superstar potential that this guy actually had. But still, even though he wasn't the same player, there was one game that made him a New York Knicks legend. The legendary four-point play. Knicks have advanced the ball to midcourt. Charlie Ward will trigger the ball inbounds. It's Ward, Childs, Sprewell, Houston and Larry Johnson back in. Ward had it tipped. Johnson made a good catch. Johnson. When he took the shot, all you could think about is it took like forever. <laughs> and that ball was in the air so long. And while the ball is in the air, the whistle goes. So now in your head, you're saying, okay, the worst that can happen now is he'll get three free throws and, and we'll have a chance to tie the game. So I'm thinking, Okay, he's, he's going to get three shots, which is awful um, because he makes all three were tied up. So I'm, I'm just disappointed at, at that, but at least he has to go to the line and, and earn them. Whistle goes, okay, LJ's going to shoot free throws, we can tie the game, okay, great. And then it goes in. It goes in. Johnson is fouled. And When I saw just Kersey count the basket and give him the foul, I, I'm really in disbelief. And my reaction was somebody just shot my dog right in front of me. I mean, that's how I felt. I would like to end the video with some opinions of former NBA stars and NBA legends to give their take on how good Larry Johnson was and how big his impact was. They're the number one pick, so here's the best player on this great team. A uh, great college career, uh, a tremendous amount of uh, hoopla coming in. And it has been the Larry Johnson Show. We laid the foundation, you know, myself, Muggs, Dale, Johnny Newman, but you, you had to get all-star caliber players, and, and LJ was our first all-star caliber player. So what are you going to do for the Charlotte Hornets? Well, I'm gonna go in. I'm gonna, I'm gonna basically offer the Charlotte Hornets that I offered, uh, you know, the previous teams I played on. You know, uh, hard work. Uh, I'm going in doing whatever the coach asked me to do, whatever my teammates need me to do, and you know, just try to win. Alley oh! What a play by Larry Johnson! Best player I've ever played with, high school, college, or pro. I saw Larry Johnson just take every big man to school. And here's Larry Johnson. 
The guy who was 250 pounds, six foot seven, had the grace of a ballerina, he could shoot it, had the strength of Shaquille O'Neal, and he knew when to use it. This is where it's done. This is the gym. Barkley. Then you take that and you add his personality to it. No pain, no gain. Malone. I had to work on the guns right here. He was one of my favorite guys to watch in high school. Uh, he's a good looking dude, solid. Comments. You know, I, I'm looking at myself in the mirror, of course. You gotta have, you gotta have that. Golden Glove boxer, really, really tough in them streets. You gotta have the toughness. You know, I just, ain't nobody tougher than me. Hey, you guys, if you're active on Facebook, I can really recommend Open Court. As an NBA fan, you should find everything you need. If it's funny NBA videos, impressive highlights, or even NBA news, I check out Open Court every day.